Uh huh. So, uh, so this is the last talk, and uh, no, from. First, I want to say that from my point, conference was very interesting. And uh, so thank you for all speakers and all participants. Now, and uh, about, uh, uh, no, people are tired and maybe I try to talk not very, very long. And one uh, thing that I, uh, after, last uh, talk, I decided not completely, but change a little bit the subject. And <clears throat> what I want to discuss is the following phenomena. So we have from one part of a, of a story, we have a main object of this conference actually, local systems. Uh, on a curve, for example, if we are uh, talk, uh, in, in the talk of Sasha Gincherov, he discussed local system on a curve and from the different point of view and uh, it is one uh, thing, uh, and uh, what discussed uh, actually today is uh, uh, also <coughs> local system, uh, but maybe not on a curve, but on a disk, uh, on formal disk or real disk, which have a form D plus A, Z. DZ, this is uh, AZ is matrix and so on, but uh, this A, uh, no, in principle, it's supposed to be, it can be regular or irregular or have a very wild singularity in the uh, origin. Yes, and uh, <clears throat> Uh, 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 so uh, it wildly uh, uh, ramified uh, the local system in the small vicinity of a point, and uh, such kind of system has uh, monodromy data, which can be packed in this uh, Stokes data. What also we discussed today, and this is how to pack them in a Stokes data and connect them with Poisson groups and, and so on. This is what is discussed today. And so again, it is local system. The second part of a story is or are uh, conformal field theory or better vertex operator algebras. Yes, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, vertex, uh, uh, this uh, vertex operator algebra, which are uh, deeply uh, related with uh, uh, such kind of subject. Uh, now uh, they are calling the uh, 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 no, it is not a good name, but sometimes they are calling like triplet vertex operator algebra and so on. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, such kind of uh, objects are deeply related. And let me explain first of all how. Uh, from the point of view of uh, vertex operator algebra business, we can we can consider uh, some some algebra E uh, and equipped with the symmetries no <clears throat> no in the usual case such no such kind if uh, algebra has symmetries, it is uh, always interesting and 
such symmetry can be discrete like easing things or uh, continuous and uh, vertex operator algebra, which I'm talking now, they uh, have the action of some group. It can be some Lie group G in, in the simplest case, it is just SL2C. Uh, just a symmetry as, as, a, as the algebra. Yes, and uh, uh, no, no, uh, such kind of algebra maybe uh, rather long ago appear in uh, the studies of uh, Bielinson and Dreamfield. Yes, and uh, uh, no, actually, uh, what what they did, uh, they started with some G, it is or, or G hat, and uh, considering the G hat on what is calling to the uh, 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 no, a K is the level, and they uh, con considering what is uh, calling is a negative level, and uh, in, in their case, this uh, K belong to Z is and smaller than minus double Coxton number or equal. So it means that if we have SL2 hat, then uh, um, this k has to be less than equal to minus four. Uh, yes, and uh, in in this case, it, it, it is uh, uh, well known uh, long ago. This theorem and famous theorem of Kajdan and Lustig, and they say that the category of representation of this algebra for such level, uh, I mean uh, not all representation, but representation which decompose in a sum of finite dimension with respect to G times one. Uh, if you make such kind of restriction, then uh, they claim that uh, the uh, corresponding category of representation is equivalent to category of finite dimensional representations of uh, so-called Lustig quantum group. And uh, this uh, uh, Lustig quantum group, uh, this is what? This is uh, uh, some quantum group, actually. So what is this? Uh, uh, we can uh, 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 connect with G, the quantum group UQG, and uh, 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 with G hat. And uh, no, it is some correspondence which in principle working for generic K. Yes, and this correspondence, the meaning of this correspondence, it's appear in Knizhnik-Zomological business in, in, the, in, in many places. It's, uh, I have no time to discuss it now, but at least uh, uh, this correspondence connect category of represent and even algebra also for level K uh, with quantum group, where this quantum group Q, Q is the exponent of y uh, uh, two pi i over k plus g. No, this g small is dual Coxton number. Yes, and uh, uh, no, the same story. Uh, uh, no, this correspondence uh, says us something about representation, but for generic key uh, representation statement about representation, also true, but not extremely interesting. It become interesting in this case, uh, where in our uh, special case, so this Q become a root of unity. 
yes. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, the statement of this Kajdan Lustig, which I need is following, that a uh, corresponding uh, uh, category of representation is equivalent of uh, uh, this uh, UQG, where, uh, where this uh, Q is the corresponding root of unity, but uh, we need for that so-called Lustig version of quantum group. And uh, no, I think people remember that it means that we add uh, Q factorials, uh, divided powers of elements, but anyway, it is some quantum group which has the following property. This group contains the object which is called calling baby quantum group. Yes, and uh, uh, no, and this baby it is finite dimensional. A quantum group, uh, for example, if you are talking about SL2, it means that in a corresponding baby quantum group, we still have generators A, K, and F. But uh, if it's a root of unity of degree P, then EP equal FP is zero and K to P is one. And, uh, and such kind of baby quantum group in a lustic uh, group is a subgroup and a quotient. Uh, no, it depending in a parity of, of P and uh, let me do not discuss it now, but uh, it is normal part group in a lustic quantum group and the quotient is a, uh, 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 just Lie group, usual Lie group, and this usual Lie group is corresponding to uh, G uh, check, where G check is a dual elastic group. Therefore, uh, the it means that the again representation of Katsmude. Uh, uh, in, in this special case is just uh, a representation of the <coughs> corresponding uh, quantum group. Then how uh, uh, Bellinson and Greenfield used uh, this fact. They use it uh, by the following way. Uh, uh, they said, well, if we know this, then we can do the following. We can take uh, uh, G hat on some level K, consider the corresponding vertex separator algebra, and after that, make up the extension. Uh, the meaning of what extension maybe I explain later uh, using some uh, uh, different uh, example. This example, what we uh, are talking now, is not uh, very uh, easy to explain. But at least extension, it means that we uh, using this fact about Lustig quantum group, we can consider the bigger algebra where uh, this uh, uh, dual uh, <coughs> lustic uh, du dual Linglen's dual group is acting by symmetries. So uh, uh, no, for example, it, it, it means that if we are talking about SL2, we can take UK of SL2 hat, and embed it into some bigger algebra, where uh, also, uh, depending on what we do, just SL2, no, Lie algebra SL2, at least acting by symmetries on this bigger algebra, such that invariant just this. Uh, after 
such uh, 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 construction uh, we have, then uh, uh, just from the theory of uh, more or less from the theory of uh, vertex operator algebra, uh, we can uh, make uh, the make make the following conclusion. Uh, so uh, uh, no, this uh, uh, conclusion is following that uh, if we have vertex operator algebra where Lie group, say SL2, is acting, uh, I, 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 I won't restrict myself uh, here only by SL2 case, then uh, uh, this algebra uh, has a uh, so, so called uh, twisted representation. What does it mean? It, it, it means uh, uh, the following story, that uh, if uh, we have uh, uh, usual uh, vertex operator algebra and forget for a moment about symmetry, then uh, we can make up the following standard structure. We can say uh, take Riemann surface, for example, CP1. Yes, and we can take several points, C, for example, uh, as I draw, and uh, uh, we can put in each point the first of all vertex operator algebra, and uh, uh, better to say, category of representation of this vertex operator algebra. And uh, so we can choose, uh, uh, for example, three representations of uh, this vertex operator algebra. And we can put this uh, representation to a point. I mean, R1 to this point, uh, R2 R to this point, R3 to this point. And uh, after <clears throat> that, we uh, want uh, uh, we can uh, calculate uh, in principle uh, correlation functions. But before that, we can correlate what is calling on, on con calling conformal block. Yes, and uh, so uh, <clears throat> so this uh, this. Conformal block is uh, is what? So actually, uh, this is some functor. We have a three category of representation, a category which we put in P1, category which we put in P2, category which we put in P3. And uh, we have, so excuse me, we have a map from here to just vector spaces. Yes, and uh, this is just a usual story. I mean that uh, uh, we can take, uh, for example, three representations, or as many representations as we want. We can put it in a, a point and then find out this conformal block. And it is some way to calculate this conformal block, but it is important that uh, 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 we have some kind of bundle or sheaf of vector spaces depending on the points and, uh, and representation which we put there uh, and uh, or, or, or on this bundle we have this knizhnik uh, of type connection it can be it can in general it is not uh, maybe knizhnik zamolochikov but something less uh, more complicated but at least it means we have connection if we move any point then uh, on this space we have connection well yes but uh, uh, this is uh, going on in a standard situation. 
but in a situation uh, what uh, we're discussing now, uh, uh, the picture is a little bit more, in, in, no, it's just the same, but a little bit more interesting. Interesting, it means the following. Now uh, uh, we have uh, some additional story or additional data. Uh, it means that uh, we have uh, no our symmetry group, we have SL2, and we have a connection. Delta, I do not want to bundle now, uh, just to skip some details. We have some connection delta in a, uh, so local story, we have point, we have, uh, in the vicinity of this point, we have connection D plus A. And uh, it occurs that to such data, we have correspond some category of uh, a twisted uh, representations. Uh, and uh, no, <laughs> so usual uh, situation is falling. If D plus A is uh, some connection, which uh, has not a uh, singularity at all, which is regular in this point, then the corresponding uh, category is the same as for just our vertex iterator algebra. Yes, and uh, uh, <coughs> and if, uh, so really the category become more complicated or sometimes very complicated, when the uh, connection uh, uh, become uh, uh, has more interesting, uh, maybe regular singularity, especially irregular uh, singularity, and uh, then category is uh, interesting, more interesting in this case, but at least. Uh, uh, so, uh, and uh, uh, next element of this structure of this story is following that if we have this uh, CP1 or uh, any uh, other curve, and if we have points, then uh, our data now is following that. Uh, in the vicinity of each point, we have our uh, connection D plus E, and uh, 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 and the corresponding uh, category of representations. Uh, which is uh, uh, depending in D plus E. And uh, then our conformal block and, uh, uh, and a statement is uh, falling that uh, if we have a, a, a CP1 and if we have points, yes, and uh, in order to define this uh, conformal block, we need to have connection D plus E, uh, 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 which is living on our CP1. Yes, and uh, singularities in our uh, three points. And uh, so uh, such a kind of data define us category uh, of representation in each point. Uh, e e yes, and uh, uh, so we have uh, uh, R1, uh, depending uh, times R2, 
Now, funks are corresponding in this case, a representation R1, R2, R3, some vector space, which, which uh, also play a role of conformal block. Yes, and uh, uh, so uh, so this is uh, the situation and uh, uh, what actually I want to discuss that uh, no, in example, which uh, uh, in maybe rather simple example, which I want to present ra uh, rather soon, uh, but uh, uh, the question is uh, in practice how to uh, uh, calculate uh, the category uh, uh, which is uh, corresponding to uh, uh, D plus E, which are locally, living locally in the vicinity of some point and uh, has some wild singularity. Uh, and uh, no, and, the, uh, and if we know this category, and after that, it will be the question about uh, conformal block and so on. Yes, and uh, so uh, <clears throat> this is a, a structure, but uh, 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 next point uh, will be uh, the following. In, in what uh, situation? We have uh, dependence on connection, uh, say D plus E. Maybe the more, most old known story uh, like that is uh, the uh, rep representation of, uh, say, uh, UK of G hat, where this K is critical. Yes, and uh, <clears throat> so in in this case, uh, <clears throat> what is happening? That uh, so suppose G is SL two, uh, and critical level K is minus two. It is just a level where uh, usual Shugavara formulas have singularity. But uh, so it means that it is not the honest vertex operator algebra, but the honest. In this case, if I consider U minus two SL2 hat, then uh, inside it we have center. A big center, it is in this case, it is just the generation of usual Shogawara formulas. And about this center, we can say two things, uh, 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 which are rather generic. One, uh, this center is this infinite dimensional, and uh, on a center, we have a Poisson structure. This Poisson structure appear if we move k, if we move k a little bit, uh, but at least uh, in 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 this case, uh, this center is uh, can be identified uh, with uh, the following data uh, with. Uh, uh, with uh, so-called second uh, Gamiltonian structure. Uh, this second Gamiltonian structure, it means that if we put here also some param parameter kappa, then uh, such space of operator with this structure uh, can be identified with, uh, du uh, with, uh, with dual space to uh, Verasora algebra with uh, this Kirill uh, constant uh, Poisson structure. And uh, no, uh, no similar story appear for any rank, uh, for any uh, Lie algebra and for super algebra also if you want and center also functions 
on some object like that. Yes, but but what what does it mean? Uh, in this case, it means that I, if I have such things, uh, SL2 hat, then because it is center, I have a family of algebras. Uh, so, for example, in this case, center it means that the functions on uh, uh, these operators are quite classical limit of Virasora algebra, and they are standard Li more or less, where Li is given by usual quadratic formulas for Shugavara, and then we can take, uh, uh, so in this case, we have family of algebras. So I can take uh, this U minus two SL2 hat, then uh, factorize it by Li minus uh, kappa i, where it is sequence of numbers, uh, uh, generating function of this sequence of number is just uh, this uh, Schrodinger operator. And uh, mm -hmm. this quotient is uh, some algebra and, and, and we can ask uh, what uh, uh, the category of representation of, the, of this algebra. So in uh, any way structure which we have here is following that we have some system of uh, object like this. It is D square plus a Q. Yes, and uh, no, they are living uh, in the vicinity of this point. In principle, Q is the sum of some ZI times maybe QI. Yes, and it is regular if Q is starting with Z minus two plus so on and irregular if this power is bigger, but uh, the structure which we have, that we have a, a family of algebras uh, labeled by uh, such kind of data and structure of uh, the representation of this uh, algebra depending of this, uh, it is interesting question, and uh, as I know, in general, so it, you cannot find some theorem where uh, or some machinery. I give you no for SL two, maybe it, it is okay, but in general, if I give you something like that, then you want to find what uh, what category of representations corresponding to this. But uh, at least uh, 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 <clears throat> such kind of, uh, of story give uh, me the same mechanism as the same machinery that I have a curve, I have points, I have this data, d squared plus q, and uh, uh, I can put uh, representations uh, which are corresponding to such things in these points. And uh, it, uh, uh, by this way, uh, I get conformal block. And so, uh, so, so it, it, it give me some. Uh, anyway, in, uh, in such kind of maybe well, uh, relatively well-known problem, uh, the corresponding uh, geometric object or uh, uh, corresponding uh, connection-like objects are what is calling order. O or, and orders are for SL2, it is like this. If you are talking, uh, going to SL3, it will be DQ plus Q1, D plus Q2. And in general, for any Lie algebra, it is some object which is relatively well known. Uh, now uh, you can ask uh, the next question. So in principle, uh, uh, on, on, at least on, on a level of uh, desire, it is uh, uh, what we want is falling. You have, suppose, some kind of uh, algebraic curve and on uh, <clears throat> this uh, algebraic curve we have some geometric 
structure. And this dramatic structure, for example, if you're talking uh, 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 SL2, it is nothing, uh, it is d square plus q, and it determines what is calling projective structure on, on the curve. Or it means that uh, identification of a vicinity of a point with this in a fixed CP1. Yes, and the, if you are talking about more general things, the corresponding structure locally are maps from uh, the disk to a flag manifold uh, with some properties. Yes, uh, and uh, Mm -hmm. uh, but in general, we have more and uh, 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 one uh, uh, desire, suppose we want to replace such kind of authors by connection. And uh, so, so it means that we want to have uh, some kind no, if we are going by this way, it, it means that we want to, to have some kind of vertex operator algebra, uh, uh, such that it, which is similar to uh, 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 this UG hat on, on a critical level, but center now are uh, uh, functions On uh, 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 not authors, but D plus A. Actually, at least it is, uh, I think it is possible to understand the, uh, this uh, 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 theorem or construction of Bailinson and Drinfield that by the following way, it is uh, it is possible to invent the construction. I think they did it that if you have some vertex separator algebra, where Lie algebra, uh, 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 say SL two, is acting by symmetries, then you can consider bigger vertex separator algebra, something where. Uh, which satisfy just the properties of what I said, that it means that uh, in, in, in this uh, big algebra, uh, uh, as a center, a peer function on such kind of object, the D plus E and uh, 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 and after that, we can use it by more or less by the same way as, as, as uh, corresponding things for critical level is used. Yes, and uh, uh, the <coughs> construction. Uh, uh, no, I, I have some time. Maybe I explain this construction, but. Uh, Maybe uh, let me start uh, this explanation. Uh, so the simplest, uh, no, I, I talked about uh, uh, this Billingson uh, uh, Drinfeld algebra, but uh, the simplest algebra where uh, 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 SL2, where uh, SL2, to he is acting is the following. Uh, let us take uh, uh, no. I, I, I'm, uh, what I want to explain what is one what is calling one p uh, 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 triplet uh, triplet or doublet algebra. And uh, such kind of algebra is given by the following construction. Now, first of all, uh, let us take what people are calling lattice vertex uh, operator algebra. So lattice vertex operator algebra is the following object. Uh, now, first, it, uh, uh, it contains uh, 
uh, the Heisenberg subalgebra. Uh, the Lie algebra, it is just uh, JL1 hat, or it, it is HI, HI, H minus I is I, and all other brackets are zero, and I run by Z. So it is a, a, a such kind of, of Heisenberg. But lattice vertex operator algebra is uh, 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 slightly bigger, and it, it it looks like the following: this uh, lattice vertex operator algebra. Uh, so uh, uh, what I draw here, it is uh, uh, by, by fork. I uh, denote the representation of this Heisenberg algebra, P, uh, not P, but maybe uh, some alpha, maybe. Yes, and uh, it is, uh, it has a vacuum vector, a vacuum alpha, such that H i, V alpha is zero, if i is bigger than zero, H zero, V alpha is alpha times V alpha. And then it is like this. Yes, and it is calling, and we will uh, call it by fork representation of, of our Heisenberg. Yes, and uh, then if, <coughs> if uh, I, I, I want to construct uh, no lattice vertex operator algebra, it uh, contain uh, this F zero plus some uh, F. Uh, what is calling vacuum representation is the sum of M beta M belong to Z. So, so it means that in lattice vertex operator algebra, we have such amount of things, and so top vectors are lattice. To so this vector is corresponding is identity operator Z. To this vector, we correspond uh, some, maybe it is V beta, it is V two beta, it is V minus beta, and so on. And operate, uh, to each this vector, we correspond operator, V M beta Z, V N beta W, operator product is starting with Z minus W, and here we have an M, and here beta square. Yes, and it is, <clears throat> it is rather simple vertex operator algebra. Yes, and uh, no, it, it, it means that our operators, what is living here is corresponding to Heisenberg. Yes, and uh, this vector is corresponding to uh, operator HZ, and it's, uh, all other vectors are corresponding to something. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, and if we want really to have a vertex operator algebra, it means we want this number be integer. So it it means that. Uh, no, because such object for generic bit is not local, but if bit square equal to something to 2p, for example, and p belong to, to z, and in our example, now it will be positive. Then we have some, uh, some algebra, and uh, about this algebra, uh, uh, I want to say that uh, no, if you have lattice vertex operator algebra, uh, then, uh, uh, then uh, uh, no, uh, lattice uh, vertex operator algebra, for uh, it corresponding, correspond to Riemann surface, uh, some conformal block. If we have uh, lattice uh, vertex operator algebra, and if we have, well, 
example, a Riemann surface, then you know, lattice vertex separator algebra correspond to uh, the Riemann surface space of theta functions on uh, Jacobian. And P in, uh, is a part of characteristic of this theta function uh, and uh, the corresponding lattice is, uh, is uh, uh, P, actually not P in this case, to P, what I need involved. Yes, well, and after that, uh, we, are, we are doing the following, that uh, no statement. Let us fix uh, uh, such kind of uh, 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 lattice uh, vertex separator algebra, uh, such that uh, this beta square equal to 2p. And statement, or uh, old statement here says that inside this uh, vertex operator algebra, we have subalgebra, which uh, I, 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 I try to, to define a little bit later. Here we have some subalgebra. With the following properties. First main property that uh, on this algebra, just SL2 is acting by symmetries. Yes, and uh, second property, which uh, that category of uh, a representation of this vertex separator algebra is equivalent to category of representation of baby quantum group. Uh, such uh, that uh, uh, param it parameter uh, it, it no it was quantum group uh, related with p so it means what I said it was e p is zero f p is zero and k to p is zero yes and uh, no uh, no this guy is finite dimensional uh, algebra and it is not uh, semi-simple. It has very uh, rather interesting and complicated cat category, but at least uh, 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 such, <coughs> such kind of, of thing is true. Well, and uh, next, how to construct this algebra? And uh, they are uh, several constructions. One of these uh, construction is falling. That let us uh, look to uh, uh, this. Uh, so it is still the vacuum representation of let v or v or a. Yes, and uh, uh, it is a uh, such algebra that uh, we choose beta, such beta square equal to P. Yes, and uh, then uh, we have vertex operator, uh, this operator, which in standard notation is given by exponent square root of 2P by Z. And it is, uh, no, I use standard notation, but it is just operator. Let us write it by Vz, which is corresponding to this element. And uh, then I write down what is calling in this science long screening. And uh, then, uh, it will be zero for your component of this. So Vz is the sum of Vi 
z minus i, and I'm talking about v zero. Yes, and uh, this v zero will be operator which is acting by this way. And uh, uh, after that, we have <coughs> the uh, falling data. So I have my vertex operator algebra, which is lattice one. And on uh, this algebra actually is acting Borel subgroup or uh, SL2. On, on a Lie algebra level, it means that uh, no, in Borel we have uh, two operators, say F, Borel of usual one, uh, maybe F and H. And uh, uh, here F, no, H is acting by grading operator. No constant uh, of grading, I, maybe I do not want to explain now, but it is acting by grading operator. Z here, maybe something here, something here, and so on. Operator F is more interesting. Operator F is the bracket with F0. It is acting by this way. And uh, I claim that uh, by this way, uh, we have, uh, 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 we define the uh, symmetry, the action of Borel or SL2 on the lattice vertex operator L. And uh, no, first I want to say, and also skip little bit details that uh, we can actually, determine the action of Borel group for SL2 on vertex separator algebra. But if it is, <coughs> if it is so, then uh, uh, we, uh, we, <coughs> then <coughs> we, we can define uh, the, uh, no, if we have something, I mean, in this case, vertex separator algebra where Borel group is acting, then we uh, have form the uh, bundle vertex operator algebra base is flag manifold CP1 in this case. No, because if we have symmetry, then we can induce uh, and get the uh, such kind of bundle of, uh, of, of vertex operator algebra, many of them. And after that, we can take sections Of uh, of this bundle uh, and it and it give us uh, no uh, now surely because it is induced object then on uh, we have some simple coherent sheaf on uh, of vertex operator algebra over CP one and uh, surely the symmetry of CP one SL two is acting on all story and it is acting on uh, space of sections. Yes, and the fact is that phase uh, of sections is, no, uh, it, from the construction, it is not clear why it is a subalgebra in uh, lattice vertex separator algebra, but it occurs so, and uh, uh, by this way, we construct uh, vertex separator algebra with a such kind of symmetry, SL2. Yes, and, uh, and, and <clears throat> yes, and after that, it is not very evident statement that category of representation of this algebra is actually the, uh, yes, but uh, next story where connections. Uh, no, connections appear from uh, the construction of the uh, extension of vertex operator algebra. Uh, what uh, 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 I want, no, I cannot explain details, but nevertheless, I, I want to say what is going on. 
that uh, we, uh, uh, when I talked about uh, Bielinson and uh, Bernstein, uh, Bielinson and Greenfield, then they use this construction of extension of vertex operator algebra. Yes, and uh, one uh, things I, I, I want to say that, for example, the vertex operator algebra, which I constructed uh, by using the section, the structure is falling. In this vertex operator algebra, we have Virasora subalgebra. Yes, and this uh, Virasora, it has the type what is calling one over P. So it means the central charge, it is one minus six P over P square. Yes, and uh, then uh, and uh, our vertex separator algebra is extension of this Virasora and it is, look, it is looking like falling. This vacuum representation plus three dimensional representation times other representation plus five dimensional times other representation, plus so on. So uh, this uh, C3, C5, and so on, they are representation of SL2, and this, 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 and this, they are vacuum representation of, uh, this is vacuum, and this is some other representation of Virasor. Here, five, one, one, here, one, three, here, one, five, and so on. I use the standard notation. In, in this Virasora business. Anyway, this object look like extension. So we have Virasora, which is corresponding to this, and this is, in, in, this is embedded in something bigger. Yes, and uh, if we want to construct the algebra which I want, uh, now we uh, are doing the following. It is extension of Virasora times uh, uh, SL2 hat. Yes, and uh, and in in this case, I I, I want to say that uh, for SL2 hat, main parameter is k, and for uh, Virasora, uh, main uh, parameters is some what is calling uh, maybe beta square in standard notation, but let me use some other notation. Uh, it, it is some parameter, maybe M. For minimal model, this M is P over Q, but actually it is some kind of parameter and uh, I want uh, the, uh, uh, this, parameter uh, m plus one over k plus two equal to maybe two p in my case. Yes, and after, if uh, this condition is true, maybe p. If in this condition is true, then we have uh, embedding uh, from this to some bigger algebra. Yes, and uh, no, such kind of story is rather standard, but I cannot explain details. It is some uh, kind of idea that I can take Virasora times SL2 uh, hat, for example, extend it if parameters are in some correspondence and after that take extension. Yes, after that, uh, we if after construction of such sort, we take level of this uh, SL2 hat and k is going to infinity. Yes, and after that, uh, as a result of this, we get uh, if k go to infinity, then as a result, we have some vertex separator algebra, which contain what? It contains Virasora for some level. And it contain UK of SL2 hat when K go to infinity. But this object is uh, uh, for K 
go to infinity. It has what people calling quasi-classical limit. It means that limit when k go to infinity just function on connection d plus a. Now it is just statement that on the space of connection we have a Poisson structure of Kirill of type and after quantization we have this object. Uh, <coughs> no, anyway, statement is the following. It is the uh, vertex operator algebra, uh, which uh, we can construct. Or, or, or I surely I could not explain the details, but about this vertex operator algebra, I want to say what? That uh, inside this vertex operator algebra, we have Virasora which is corresponding to this data 1p, just data which uh, 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 appear in the construction, what I tried to explain. And it contain also the big commutative algebra, which are functions on, on connections. And uh, uh, so it contains this, it contains this, but in reality it is bigger and it is possible to describe it explicitly. And this is our uh, one of, uh, I want to say this is simple. Simple in the sense that simplest known, maybe to me, simplest uh, analog, of uh, a, a situation of, on a critical level, which I described before. It was also algebra, but uh, on a place of function on a connection, we have function on order. But at least uh, if we have such construction in the mind, then uh, as uh, for critical level, Locally, we have following data. We have our connection D plus A, yes, and uh, on uh, uh, there for each such connection, I can correspond uh, fiber. So it means this connection uh, we have space of all connections. And to each connection, uh, by using this construction, I, I can correspond some algebra. Uh, yes. Uh, now, uh, what <clears throat> actually we know about the representation theory of uh, such algebras. First things I said that if D plus A is uh, 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 connection regular, D plus a, 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 a zero plus so on, then uh, corresponding algebra is isomorphic to our triplet. So I want to say that category of representation which are corresponding to regular connection is just the uh, uh, representation of this baby quantum group. Okay, uh, um, what I want to say that the answer in general, this is what uh, I want to know and uh, all these uh, stocks data surely can be used for that. But let us uh, uh, just try to say what is known in the simplest case. Suppose that this connection is regular. So it is looking like this. A1 over Z plus A0 plus so on. And now, now the answer depending uh, in A1. Suppose first that uh, A1 is a diagonal matrix and it is looking like lambda minus lambda zero zero here. Okay. 
and what it will be. And uh, now in this case, it has nice answer and answer is following that, uh, no, uh, again, what we expect if it is really so, then uh, so for matrix, which is just zero, 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 we have a category of representation of baby quantum group. Yes, but uh, now I'm talking- well, May I ask? Yes, sure. Uh, but uh, in the definition of the baby quantum group, uh, the number P enters, but uh, where, uh, um, uh, how is it visible from the connection? Uh, no, connection, uh, uh, no, no, again, in <coughs> construction, which I tried to say, we, we had some P and P uh, from P, we get some vertex separator algebra, truly really depending in P, but uh, function and connection are living here inside, uh, uh, inside this vertex separator algebra. So, uh, and after that, uh, I uh, consider, because it is center of this algebra, I considering the fiber over some specific connection. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> so the point is that uh, uh, by this construction, I have P and after that, I produce the uh, fiber of algebras or fiber of categories uh, as you like. Uh, uh, and uh, these categories depending in P. So you, you can ask uh, how it depends in P and can we uh, determine it uh, if P is one, for example, all of this possible. But uh, construction itself give I mean, some family depending in P. And uh, no, and it is looking like, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, as I said, uh, that if uh, this uh, thing is regular, then uh, uh, we have some uh, category is rather complicated. It is category of representation of baby quantum group. And uh, it is, uh, Non semi simple category and so on. And the, how it depends in P, it is known, surely it depends in P, surely, but description in the sense uh, uh, that is going on uh, in some P independent way. So it means that category uh, decomposed into blocks, and uh, there are several types of blocks, but number of this block depending in P, but each block does not depend in peace, so, but it is such, such kind of story. But anyway, let me return to, to this. Uh, that Thank you. Uh, if uh, my singular part is zero, uh, then we get, as I said, baby quantum group. If I have this lambda minus lambda zero, zero, <coughs> then, uh, we expect to have some deformation of baby quantum group. And uh, such, uh, such kind of <laughs> deformation of baby quantum group surely is no, because uh, if uh, we have uh, UQ of SL2 in usual definition, I mean E, K, F, and uh, suppose Q is generic and uh, uh, or, 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 or important things only k a uh, is q square e, e k and so on and it is some algebra but uh, without any extra relation but if q go to uh, root of unity then uh, uh, we get something which usually we calling cuts form of uh, a group so it's loosely cuts and also mixed form, which I do not want to discuss now, but by this way, 
we get cuts and uh, and uh, uh, it, it cuts and this algebra cuts it mean that for example e power p and f power p and k power 2p they are not uh, the zero as in the baby quantum group but their central element and uh, what i want to say that this cuts group in this uh, case uh, it has big center which which is uh, it is a little bit bigger but what is generated by these elements are usually calling by new set uh, then uh, uh, this center because it has this this and this it is something three-dimensional and it is long ago known that this no, and also uh, because it's the center. So if you uh, move Q a little bit, then uh, after such a deformation, center disappear. It means that on the center, uh, 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 in all such a situation, we uh, have Poisson structure. And so center is something uh, three dimensional and it has Poisson structure and the old and well known results uh, that uh, 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 this Poisson structure, it is nothing as what uh, uh, it is G, maybe G dual, I don't know. It is, uh, what is not this notation for? We have SL2, we have Poisson structure on it, and we have a, a, a SL2 star, which is dual, uh, a group with a Poisson structure and a dual group. And this is what uh, appear here. Yes, and uh, yes, <coughs> and this statement, first simple statement is that, uh, no, no, because we have uh, uh, such kind of center that we have family of algebras. We, we can take uh, this, quantum cuts quantum group and just factorize it by relation EP equals some number, some couple one, uh, K2P equal to some couple two, and the FP is some couple three, and they coordinate on something. For example, this is this is non-zero, but that to zero, so we have something C star times C times C with the Poisson structure. And we have family of algebras uh, 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 above this, which is given by this way. And again, rather a, a standard uh, theorem, which is uh, rather check, uh, easy to check even in general. This is the fact that uh, mm -mm -mm, category of representation, which is uh, corresponding to uh, connection, what I'm uh, uh, talking, like this, uh, you know, it is uh, uh, corresponding to a, a representation theory of our uh, quotient uh, of this cut quantum group by relations uh, that, uh, no, because matrix has such form that it is easy to pre predict what it can be. And it, it, it means that we, we have uh, uh, this my coordinates, kappa one, kappa two, and kappa three, and this will be zero. And this part is uh, our sister, and it will be living uh, above this. Yes, and uh, after that, uh, no, uh, again, this fact is is very easy to check, but we can uh, 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 go a little bit further. And 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 by the way, the, uh, if we uh, make up su such kind of deformation, then a corresponding category become semi simple, and the all complicated structure which we had for regular uh, solution disappear. If you are talking not about SL2, 
but uh, on some algebra of uh, uh, higher rank, then uh, it is not so easy to answer. I think the answer in principle is known, uh, but I'm not completely sure. A a a anyway, but uh, uh, to to today we discussed also this bold type uh, result. Mm, yes, and this uh, bulge uh, type uh, result, what what he discussed, he discussed that we have the uh, situation like this, we have a, a maybe minus two over z square plus a minus one over z plus so on, and it is possible. You know what he did? It is uh, mentioned several times in today also. Yes, and uh, we can fix this, uh, and uh, after that, uh, try to describe the gauge classes of such kind of uh, connections in terms of monodromy data. Yes, and uh, and I and <clears throat> then. Then so if we uh, <clears throat> describe this in, in uh, no in my in monodromy data, uh, uh, it, it is hidden uh, uh, this kind of story. It is uh, hidden the dual part uh, of my uh, dual to my group with uh, which uh, which uh, with such kind of coordinates and. Uh, uh, so uh, 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 again, so if we really want to say uh, what cat category is corresponding to this, we have to make up two things. One thing we need to uh, 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 go to this Stokes type coordinates and, fi and find out this uh, kappa one, kappa two, and kappa three. Maybe I cannot uh, explain uh, how precisely to do it, but I think it is possible to invent, especially after today's uh, explanation and what we had on this conference. Yes, but uh, uh, we have to, to find out uh, these three, then to take this baby, not baby, but this cuts version of uh, this uh, quantum group and uh, considering the corresponding fiber and representation of this fiber is just in correspondence with uh, uh, <coughs> yes. And, uh, and by, by the way, maybe uh, uh, it is possible also, no, it, it is, no, it is uh, just the question I, uh, Maybe uh, just now it is not very much reasonable to explain. No, on no, I think what what I am saying now. It, I do not know where it is actually written, at least in general. But surely it is known, or it is not very complicated to prove. So a real uh, a statement for. The uh, connection with bigger singularities, I do not know, and it is some kind of challenge to find it. No, anyway, the structure which we want to have, well, we have, uh, uh, as I repeat, mm -hmm. so we have D plus E, yes, and in principle, for such kind of construction, I have also P. Yes, and uh, by uh, this, this using this data, I can determine some category. Yes, and uh, no, again, as I am saying, dependence in P is uh, not very much important. That. Uh, they surely involve in the answer, but still, uh, it is some category which, depending in, uh, 
structure of this uh, D plus A. And uh, uh, yes, and it is one thing, and uh, maybe it is good also to mention well. Uh, uh, no, 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 maybe uh, I uh, uh, said the structure. No, no, these things uh, concerning the uh, uh, local behavior of these things, but uh, what we can call global behavior, it means that in all such kind of situation, we have points, yes, and in principle, uh, we can, uh, our data here is, uh, uh, is D plus E, Yes, and uh, this D plus A have to be regular uh, uh, here and uh, have some singularities here, here, and here. Mm, yes, and suppose naively that uh, uh, we have a, a, a such kind of uh, uh, singularities and uh, uh, we, we have monodromy G1 here, monodromy G2, here, monodromy G3, G here. Now, because D plus A have to be a uh, 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 connection regular outside, that the product G1, G2, G3 is equal to one. Yes. And uh, so in, in this uh, naive setting, it means that if our category really depends in monodromy here, monodromy here, and monodromy here, then uh, a conformal block or something like this exists if a product of some G1, G2, G3 is equal to one. Yes, and uh, such kind of things are true if our uh, group is abelian, it, it, it's precisely true. And if it is not, the answer is more complex. Yes, but uh, and not not I think even in small uh, generality it is not known. Yes, and uh, maybe uh, so. Uh, uh, last things which uh, soon I, it is good to stop. I wanted to say what as. Uh, uh, what we have to do. So, so, so I again, I, I, I did not want to talk about this, but after such kind of lectures, it is natural because it is. It seems to me very interesting question. Uh, well, if we have D plus A, and if we uh, describe D plus A using the stock data, so we have zones like this. Yes, and. After that, uh, we have uh, so Stokes data, it is uh, uh, some matrices which are acting like this, 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 and this, up to uh, some equivalent. Yes, and uh, such as uh, Sasha also explained this and uh, other people also that uh, such kind of day and bulge uh, surely did it maybe the first that uh, on such space we have the Poisson structure. Yes, and this Poisson structure actually coincide with Poisson structure for some uh, reduction of uh, space of connections. Yes, and also uh, if we really want to generalize this fact about Katz quantum group, what we have to do? First, uh, this Poisson structure on this space of data, we uh, have to quantize, and it is surely possible and also in some sense discussed today. Yes, and, uh, and after that, uh, if we want at least try to find the answer, uh, we are uh, quantize it 
and quantization depending in some parameter Q. After that, we have to uh, send this Q to some root of unity. After that, the result of this quantization uh, it will be similar to this cast quantum group. So it means it, it will have uh, uh, some kind of center, this big center, and also some kind of fibers, which are like baby quantum group or deformation of this baby quantum group. Yes. And this experience of uh, uh, Katz group and also that if uh, we send Q to root of unity, then this big new center will be uh, expected to be uh, the uh, function on some kind of stocks data also. Maybe it will be the same manifold. No, it. Uh, no, I, this this I do not know. It is uh, all on the level of speculation, but it, it can be like that. And the fiber will be the version of baby quantum group or this baby quantum group, which is living over, uh, which I said, so, so uh, over this parameter kappa one, kappa two, kappa three. No, again, usual baby quantum group living uh, over this. Uh, then I can move this or this, or this, and this, and it will give me something, at least for SL2, algebra, it will be different objects, but algebraically not very different. The corresponding category of representation, uh, they will be uh, uh, the same, or almost the same. Um, no, in this case, it's just the same. It is uh, the only special plan. Uh, yes, and uh, this is what is uh, going on in this case. And in general case, it is, uh, yes. And also, I think that uh, maybe Sasha understand uh, how uh, his construction is uh, working in this direction. So I mean, he has uh, some kind of his data, I mean, representation of fundamental group for Riemann surfaces. Yes, no, with some extra data, surely, where we have this, <coughs> where he has this cluster structure. And after that, uh, for uh, the goal of what I am talking, we need quantization, which is surely uh, possible, but. Uh, uh, no possible at least uh, this cluster business is uh, going on but after that we have to go to a q equal root of unity and look what is going on there and how complicated or simple is this i just do not know and maybe it is open question which i want just to, to formulate and maybe uh no, I'm discussing just, uh, just uh, some kind of questions that it is. Uh, no, I've, I, no, I've formulated some uh, statements which are serious, but uh, they are not extremely new. But uh, maybe some calculation, I, I, they're new and I only want to say that at least I discussed this with many people and continue to discussing this. Rishi Tichin, uh, uh, for example, Gukov, and maybe Thomas Kreutzer, Karakawa, and uh, all others. So many people are, see, are interested in, in questions what I'm talking And Anyway, the cluster story and other story, which we heard on this conference, maybe can help. OK. And so uh, let me stop. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, much. <laughs> uh. No, uh, anyway, conference is over and we are happy. <laughs> no, it's not so many people. Maybe uh, all people who want to uh, ask me, they can uh, almost all can ask me personally, yes? Oh, oh, now maybe.
if they have some oh, question. Okay, yeah. Can, can I ask a quick question? So, so if, if you know this Stokes phenomenon appears in VOA, vertex operator algebras, in some way, like as a symmetries or other things. Uh huh. Yeah. How, how to see this Stokes phenomenon in the structure of VOA? Uh, no, VIA uh, know it uh, only when uh, this uh, structure, what I explained, appear. If we have vertex separator algebra, which is really the big center where connection involved in description of situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, and after that, uh, uh, connection knows about Stokes date. Mm -hmm. And how uh, are you, anyway, uh, you can ask other questions that uh, suppose we have, uh, uh, no, connection is good things, but suppose we are working with vertex separator algebra uh, with symmetries. Mm -hmm. In this case, construction of something depending on monodromy or something has to be more topological. So it means that we can start with Riemann surface, for example, and uh, put, uh, or, uh, just cut it on triangle, put on the in triangle our vertex separator algebra on, on along each line, it is some kind of something from uh, our local system. And it, it has to give us some object, object depending from combinatorial uh, connection Yes, and it, it is also working. And if uh, we are talking about Stokes data, it means what? That from one side uh, in uh, vertex operator uh, business, it's more natural to have connection. And from the point of view, more topological things, it is better to, to work with what Sasha Gonchirov used. We have a circle around the point, to be decompose it in a zone and so on. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and using vertex separator algebra with symmetry, we can play with this object. No, just put vertex separator up to each segment and then glue it with some operators and doing something like that. It has to be some, uh, anyway, go from a connection to Stokes data, it is go from Analysis, not analysis actually, but connection to topology. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, right, I, I, I asked this question because, you know, like in this KZ example, uh, the solutions of KZ equation has some Stokes phenomenon. I see. And, yeah. uh, and uh, the Stokes phenomenon is, is, is given by this uh, Stokes matrix, which is the R matrix for quantum groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so it seems this, uh, right, at least in, 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 in some simple examples, this Stokes phenomenon um, plays a role of the symmetry operating in your quantum algebras. No, no, uh, it, it, yeah, it, no it has to be. We, at, uh, mm -hmm. What I'm talking that we, we can try to find some kind of symmetry. Uh, uh, you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but at least uh, my problem that I uh, do not know the correct language how to say it. But surely it will be clear, I hope, in future. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks.
Okay, so learn. Okay. Oh. No, so yeah. maybe we finish Third and we one. can uh, c congratulate each other. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So thanks everyone for coming. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th thanks Thank for you. organizing such a conference, such a nice conference. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. And Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we fine. <laughs> okay. So. So bye.